Welcome back to Circle Club Entertainment for yet another video here on the channel. And today is a pretty special day, folks, because my favorite driver of all time in NASCAR has made a return to the NASCAR Authentics for the first time since around 2019, I think. I remember the last time it was that Southern 500 old Mark Martin win, one of his older cars that I remember having. In fact, let me go grab it to make this video more. Yeah, here it is. This was the last time Mark Martin was in the NASCAR Authentics line. Of course, this box is a little bit dusty, so let's kind of dust it off a little bit before we officially start talking about this stuff here today. Here it is. Here's Mark Martin and his win at Darlington, the Southern 500 winner from September 5th of 1993 was the last race version we got for him or any die cast of his in NASCAR Authentic Sign. I was really excited to get this car back then. I even bought this car in the Gold Series also and was part of these older waves as you can see back then. Kind of nostalgia to go back and look at some of these older cars. But today is not about this die cast as cool as this one is. We're going to be talking about the newest release for Mark Martin in terms of NASCAR I guess I'm really excited for this guys words cannot describe how much this means to me to finally see another Mark Martin diecast for NASCAR authentics wow this is just so surreal that I'm having holding this in my hand right now that it's in 2024 and we have a Mark Martin diecast this is incredible folks here it is Mark Martin and his 2009 throwback here I guess it's not really technically a, not a Darlington throwback, but it's a throwback type of die cast paying tribute to Mark Martin and his 2009 Kellogg's Car Quest paint scheme. Really, really cool to see this. This is so awesome to have this die cast finally. Next gen form. So we have it on the next gen Chevrolet Camaro. And because he did it for Hendrick Motorsports, he is a part of the Hendrick Motorsports 40th anniversary. Uh, line of these die casts. You can see Hendrick Motorsports 40, established in 1984, that race team. Of course, a very historic organization. And for Mark Martin to win races for Hendrick was really, really cool. Of course, his throwback to the 2000, 2009 season. And I even have his stats. He finished second place in the points, 36 races. He read all 36. He has five victories, 14 top five finishes. And 21 top 10s, as according to this stats sheet over here, this driveraverages.com over here. Really, really cool to see this die cast and this driver make a huge, huge comeback. And, of course, sadly, no uh, magnet. It's just his name, Mark Martin. Would have been really cool to have a magnet with it. I'm not going to be unboxing and reviewing this, obviously, because this is for my personal collection. Uh, so I will not be opening this one up, but I will give you guys some close looks at it. As you can see, it's the original red, blue, yellow, the red, blue, and yellow paint scheme that was run back then. It's it's really cool on the Chevy Camaro. And of course, of course, this is before Kyle Larson and, you know, the other drivers, Casey Kane. You know, Kyle Busch came before. And of course, you know, all the historic five drivers. You got Terry Labonte, the five car has been in NASCAR for such a long, long time. And you can even see other cars in here that are number five from the other past drivers. And there's the wave if you want to see that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be doing a quick little comparison here to the original because I have the original here in this awesome looking package. Here it is. We have the Mark Martin 2009. And this is the version of it that has Tony the Tiger on the hood. And there's also the Car Quest one out there that I have not found yet. But on this one, you have Car Quest on the side. But basically, this is the paint scheme that they are recreating. Let's just get this in chronological order. Newest, oldest. As you can see, next gen form. And the original COT over here, as you can see. Really, really nostalgic to see this paint scheme. Of course, Mark Martin behind the wheel of this. Winning races and literally finished second to Jimmy Johnson, which was just a heartbreaker. Uh, for Mark Martin. I was really, really disappointed. Uh, but other than that, it was a good effort for him. He's been close to winning many championships. Of course, in my opinion, even with all the wins Denny Hamlin has, 
I still believe that Mark Martin is the best driver to not win a NASCAR Cup Series championship. And whether or not he won it or not, he's a Hall of Fame NASCAR legend that we even met in person back in like 20... 13, we were getting ready to pack up our stuff and move from New York to North Carolina. We went to North Carolina and met Mark Martin. And of course, from then onward, I was able to collect so many of his die casts and to now have one for 2024. Wow, it's crazy to think Mark Martin. I'm holding a Mark Martin 2024 die cast. Incredible. For one of my favorite drivers of all time. Hopefully, we get some of his older Roush Fords. Uh, in the NASCAR Authentics. That would be really, really cool. I'd love to get some, like, throwbacks of his Valvoline cars on the next-gen molds. Like, can you imagine, like, a Mustang Dark Horse with the 1998 or even the 2000 paint scheme? Holy cow, dude. That would be so cool. And you can see the drastic differences in how die-cast production is. So, no more magnets. So, this one just has the card art, and this one has just the... or even better than this one. This one just has a graphic with the name and the logo, and this actually has a cool magnet. These things used to come with stickers, magnets, cool looking like bubble packaging. I'm not quite sure if this is the box that you can easily open. I think this is what you would do to open it, like this little thing right here. But yeah, just so different uh, the way things used to be. Look at how cool this box was back then. I feel like this is a necessary comparison because I'm just showing you how much things have changed in terms of these die casts. As you can see, 09 for 2009. Hendrick Motorsports scanned me because they're doing like a special um, program for that, I guess. They buy their die cast. Really, really cool that they're doing this. And this is probably the biggest wave ever. I mean, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, dang. Let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten? Ten cars in a single wave? Usually they're like only eight. This thing has like ten. Wow. Wow, that is a big wave. Good luck collecting all of these, but they are all at the Lionel Racing Retail Store. Every single one of them was there when I went today. I will mention this. I think one of these is a duplicate. We've gotten gotten it before. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. I believe it's this Daryl Waltrip one over here that had the 75th logo, but now it has the Hendrick, like how all these cars have the Hendrick 40th anniversary logo on the hood right there. Um, but yeah, you have that car right there, that Terry Labonte, Texas Terry, and his basically what's going to be the Larson throwback. That one there is not based on a real driver. That's just like a normal program car. But man, that thing does look really good. Super cool. Right? The, the metallic finish on that is fantastic. I believe the Jimmy Johnson and the Dale Jr. had the metallic as well. I don't remember quite the Jimmy Johnson, but that one, the little blue stripe on the side, which Chase is going to do this throwback. It had the metallic. It's really cool. And of course, another version of Jeff Gordon. And is that one of the Schraders? I forgot. Please let me know. I'm not a Hendrick historian. I forgot the name that was on that one. This was the, the Jeff Bonine one. This five. I believe that's what it was. But this one for sure. We all know who he is. Of course, Mark Martin. Tim Richmond. Jimmy Johnson. It's just all the legendary winners. They're bringing some of these old paint schemes back and putting it um, with their logos of the 40th anniversary. Now, the thing with these is, and you probably already noticed it already, um, they do not put the original sponsor. And I guess the reason why they don't have any of the actual sponsors on these uh, next-gen cars is because of the licensing issues. I guess they got to get the license back for Kellogg's and all kinds of stuff. Look at that. CarQuest, Cheez-It, Kellogg's, Stanley, which is now literally what Joe is racing. You have GoDaddy, which has gone out of the sport. You have CarQuest, uh, you have that, uh, Tony the Tiger, just Kellogg's in general, Pop-Tarts, would have been a pain in the butt to get these things produced. But, we were able to get it somehow, even though it doesn't have, I mean, it gives you a good look at the paint scheme. Like, for years, you probably wondered what this thing looks like without any of the sponsors on it, and just, like, generic logos. Just get a good look at that beautiful paint scheme. Obviously, beautiful car. And to have it on the next gen is really cool. So I really have two versions of this now. A next gen in 2024. 
even on the box says 2024 or underneath the car 2024 Camaro and of course the ever so nostalgic 2009 Chevy Impala of course the Impalas the Monte Carlos these things are legendary nowadays love seeing these and of course there's a closer look at this car of course you're not really going to get anything more than just this for these cars on the channel like in-depth reviews i would literally have to unbox both of these cars and i really don't want to open these same thing with the winter circles i really don't want to unbox those cars but maybe every once in a while i will showcase them i will show them in the box as you can see you can still see all the sponsors and get a good look at the paint scheme because of the clear box in both sides of the car I Assumingly, I think are the yeah they're the same side. Yeah, so very cool the Impala here and the Camaro ZL1. Very very awesome car. So we'll get some final looks at that one. The new next gen Mark Martin diecast. Let's get some really good close ups of it because this is a legitimate car produced by Lino Racing that I just picked up today for like five or six bucks. Really really nice. I'm so happy to finally have this car. And these two I'm going to display next to each other somewhere in the room. But yeah, as you can see, very, very cool. Pretty good decal quality for the front end right there. Number five, got the 40th logo on the deck lid, just a white version. And the back has Hendrick Motorsports Camaro ZL1. So it would have ended up being a short review anyway. Look, you can even see Mark Martin's name on the side roof pillar right there. Really, really cool. So awesome to have. Of course, they're still going to have those ugly hood vents. As you can see, they got the hood vents like they would on the real-life cars. But, you know, still very cool. Of course, Hendrick Motorsports Ford, established in 1984. Very historic. Hendrick is probably one of the most recognizable, the most successful stock car racing organization ever in NASCAR. And instead of black rims, you have the dark gray rims, which looks super cool. Yellow Goodyear's. Just a really cool paint scheme. I just love like the round uh, shapes that are on the side. With just beautiful, like red. You know, get a bit of the yellow. Got some of the blue, and then another red outline. And then just the way the roof looks, just all blue with just a red outline, and of course some blue on the back and on the deck lid. Very simple paint scheme, but man, did it really a simple paint scheme that spoke a million words. And it looks good on both versions of the car. And here it is, the original just fantastic and another cool thing about this guys they did the normal number placement to match the regular so it's not like this number five move to the middle would have been curious to see what that would have looked like but you got to try to make these things authentic to how they were they that they resemble each other as close as possible even though not all the sponsors are the same now i really do wish these things that used to have or had magnets because if this thing had the like a sticker or a magnet would have been really cool because they used to have it in the older NASCAR authentics like you could literally use this magnet for this car and it really wouldn't make a difference because this doesn't really even have any sponsors on it. it's just a five Hendrick and Mark Martin's name but yeah this is really cool it's just awesome so I really wanted to share that with you guys today hope you guys really enjoyed that uh me showcasing both of these cars I'm probably the ultimate Mark Martin fan Shout out to YouTubers like Slap Shoes and Kamikaze Games that are also huge Mark Martin fans. There's a ton more out there that I probably didn't even mention. So shout out to all you Mark Martin fans. Shout out to Mark Martin himself. Hopefully he sees the video. It was really good meeting you years ago. And hopefully we will see each other again. <laughs> maybe someday in another race shop. But maybe Hendrick will bring some of the guys. Who knows? That will be pretty interesting if they do that. So thank you all for checking out this little quick little showcase Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next. And it'll probably be a more legitimate diecast review than this. This is just a showcase, but in the next video. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts.